Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Hi guys, in a few of my other videos, I talk about the gum dichromate printing, whether is it a single layer or a tri-layer gum dichromate print. So today what I'm going to do is to uh, talk about a variation of gum dichromate printing, which is gum oil printing. Right, um, gum oil printing is a relatively new printing process. It's only invented in uh, 1990 by Mr. Carl Koenig. Uh, Mr. Carl Koenig actually passed away in uh, 2012. But on YouTube, you can find a video of Mr. Koenig himself doing the gum oil printing process demonstration. So that's a very good resource to learn this uh, printing process. Otherwise, there are online articles and other videos made by other uh, printers that uh, show and talk about this process. And uh, I also managed to get a copy of uh, Mr. Kennedy's book on uh, gum oil photographic printing. So inside there, he actually gives a very good uh, information about the materials needed, um, various ways of doing the printing, whether single layer or multi uh, layers with different color or just one color. Right. So the gum oil printing process is a bit different from the other printing process uh, in the sense that it's actually a positive to positive uh, printing process. So you need to have a positive image uh, in the form of a transparency. Right, and then you use that transparency to print on the paper to get a final positive image. So this is slightly different from the other uh, printing process that I've been uh, showing so far in my videos. Right, so today in this video, I'm just going to uh, take you through the major steps in this uh, gum oil printing process. Uh, just bear in mind that uh, uh, this is not uh, you know, the full tutorial. Uh, because there's a lot of uh, room and uh, for experiment and for testing because this is a relatively new process. So uh, I just hope that this video uh, give you a quick introduction to this process so that uh, you can actually uh, go on to explore more. So for this gum oil process, we need a positive transparency rather than rather than uh, negative. So I got this um, positive transparency printed uh, with the help from a friend. So what we do now as usual uh, is to mark out the four corners so we know where to code the emulsion. Right. Okay, for gum oil printing process, um, for the emulsion, we only need two material. One is the dichromate. Um, it could be potassium dichromate or ammonium dichromate. Make a saturated uh, solution, probably about um, 10%. And the other one would be the gum arabic. Right? So a good uh, mixing ratio will be one part of this... Um, uh, dichromate solution gum arabic so uh, with this size about A4 or slightly bigger than 810 I will do uh, 3 ml plus 6 ml of the gum arabic to create a 9 ml solution so uh, very simple just get a measuring cylinder like this one is uh, up to 45 ml so i'm just going to mix 9 so i pour 3 ml of this solution again this ratio are a starting point you can actually uh, experiment or test and the ratio to use as usual be be careful when dealing with the dichromate solution eh? so let's pour about Let's pour about 3 ml in. Yeah, we probably got about 3 ml there. Go so for the gum arabic. Just pour about 6 ml and just give it a good mix. Usually I pour, usually I pour it into another bigger container. Right, and give it 
another good mix. The brush that I'm using uh, is a cheap foam brush, which you can discard after a few use. Right. So what we need to do is just to coat the dichromic and gum solution, and then just coat the paper. Okay, with a ratio of uh, one part of dichromate to two parts of gum. This solution is a bit thick, so just brush it onto the paper slowly. Okay, and share an even coating. I'm just going to coat one layer. You sometimes you can coat two layer for a thicker layer. Okay. So as usual, I do left to right, top to down, and then right to left, left to right, so that we will not miss up any part of the paper that we need to coat. So the coating is done, I think it should be quite even. So what we will do is to continue to keep it as a dark uh, place away from uh, sunlight or fluorescent light uh, because that will harden the layer. So um, when it's dry, uh, depending on the weather or uh, humidity, it may take an hour or two. So usually I will just uh, let it sit around for a few hours or even until the next day and before I will start doing the printing. Okay, so I see you when it's ready. Okay, so this is a few hours after I've uh, done the coating. So the emulsion layer is really dry. It's to put the emulsion. So I put the transparency, the positive transparency on top of the coating and expose it to sun okay. okay so in case you don't know this is actually a Tochu Opera actress huh? uh, she's doing, she was doing her makeup in the backstage in preparation for a Chinese opera performance or in this case more specifically it's a Tochu Opera and uh, I took this using a digital SLR, a Nikon D700, a few years back. And I print it on a positive transparency. So I have secured the transparency to the paper using two pieces of uh, cross tape. So that later I can check the exposure by lifting out the transparency and still keep it aligned with the exposure so I have my contact printing frame here this is, I usually use this for my 8x20 print but um, this one will do for this print so what we need to do is to just to put the paper below the piece of glass okay and then use a uh, big what we call the butterfly clips to clip on okay so now we can put it under the UV uh, exposure box huh? okay so this has been 20 minutes since we exposed it to the UV light and here you can see the 
um, image on the dichromate emulsion. Uh. So, so now I want to put the whole print into the water. Okay, and agitate it. Okay, and make sure that it's covered by water. So the paper has dried. Uh, I think you can see a yellowish uh, negative form on the paper. Right. So this is the positive. So we can see that this, this part is quite dark. So it will not get uh, a lot of light during the exposure. So it, the emulsion will be quite soft and it will be washed away during the washing process. Later part. So now we are going to begin our, with our oil paint coating process. I am using this, uh, you can see, Winstor and uh, Newton. This is the Winton oil color. This is lamb black, I mean black color. Okay. And I have a stencil brush here. So I will sort of like stamp it onto the paper with the black oil paint and then cover it up and let it dry for 15 minutes or so so let's start things can get a little bit messy as we do the stenciling so uh, what we want to do is to maybe mask the edge okay something like this with the masking tape let's We can begin our stenciling. Okay. So very simple, just uh, put some black oil paint onto the brush and then just go around to cover the whole uh, print area with the black paint. Okay, so we can see that the whole print area has been covered by the black oil paint. So what we need to do now is to just put the paper aside so that um, there's time for the oil paint to sink well into the paper fiber. So that probably will talk about 20 minutes, so we'll come back later. So 20 minutes has passed. Before we wipe off the, the paint, we can actually hold the paper at a certain angle. You should be able to see a very uh, light image form uh, on the paper. So we'll start to wipe off the oil paint uh, using a uh, kitchen towel. Okay. Again, I suggest that you wear a glove, especially on the hand that you are holding the kitchen towel on because um, this can be a bit messy. Right. So what we need to do is to start wiping. Right. So we can start to wipe by just going in like circular motion on the paper. Okay. And you will see that the paint will actually come off. So be patient and work your way through the whole image. So after rubbing with a kitchen towel for about 10 minutes, we can see a light image form on the paper. Okay. So for this print, it seems that it's not uh, light enough. So I will have to uh, let it go through the etching process to remove some of the paint. Uh, this is just normal household bleach, chlorine based bleach. Huh? So we will use um, one part of uh, bleach to maybe like 10 parts of water or 9 parts of water. Doesn't really matter, but the stronger the bleach, the faster it will bleach away the paint and the gum so you have to be careful 
So I will be probably using a more diluted one uh, so that we can uh, monitor the bleaching process slowly. So the bleach is ready and the print is here. I'm going to put in for like uh, very quickly 10 seconds and, and I have a sponge here. Right, you can see it's black because I used it before uh, to clear away the pigment and the gum uh, after the bleaching process. So have that ready in hand because the reaction will be quite fast. So let's So that's about 10 seconds. Now we will start to wipe off the print. You can see that the some of the pigment came out quite fast. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to pour out the solution. And start to give it a wash with running water. Okay. Some part here may be a bit stubborn. So you can control. Seems like some part, some paint got stuck to the white area. So I'll leave it there. Right. Okay. So you can actually selectively uh, print some more on the area. Or those that you prefer to be darker, you can leave it there. Okay. But you can see that the print is done. Okay. The print has dry and this is the final output. Thank you for watching to this part of the video. As you can see, I managed to produce a positive uh, gum oil print. Uh, for me to uh, improve on my printing techniques and, and also to do other experiment and testing. So you will certainly hear from me on my other attempts on this uh, gum printing process. If you have any other question or other thoughts on this printing process, please leave it in the comment section below. If you are a gum oil printer and you have uh, tips for me, please also share it with me in the comment section below. Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it, and finally, do subscribe to my channel. And i see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.